<laughs> this is the front entrance to the 1500 Park. This is we're on the corner of Hubbard and Park. And this is the building. The best place to park is on this light speed. That's where I park. So the question at, at issue is the side door. This is the side door to the building. I'm going to walk over to the door. Okay. These windows are the windows to the unit. So the door is right adjacent to the unit. So with the key to access, I would come to this door and go inside. Okay, so the lack of key access, I'm going to walk you have to walk around the corner and through the front entrance. So that's the journey we're on. <laughs> now you have to imagine carrying groceries. You see all the traces on this side are taken. Now the unit comes with the parking space, but that's on the fifth floor of the parking garage, and it's uncovered. So this is the trip to the front entrance. Now I want to point out that this sidewalk is jagged. So when you come in with a wheelchair, you have to turn this way, put the chair, and turn this way. And that's true if you're carrying anything heavy. You have to watch your step. Because otherwise, you're going to step in the green room. And I, I believe this entrance does not meet the handicap requirements under the law. Then we come to the front entrance, where it has the key access. Now you notice the size of this door. This is an enormous heavy door. You click the key and then you open the door. Now we're walking inside the door. We're in the hall and we're turning to head to the unit. Then you have to proceed down this hall. Oh, wait. And then around this bend. And then around this bend. to the front door of the unit. I counted 230 steps. Now, the side door. In order to get to the side door, you come out of the out unit, you come this way here, you go through this door, and you go down the steps. Notice the sign. And notice the camera above. And now we'll go out the door. And here we are, right where we started. Now, does it make sense to have an electronic key on this door? Let's travel down the block to the next outdoor exit. And here's the car. Now we're walking toward Sherwin Avenue.
So here we have the next outside door, down the block from the other one. But we notice that this door has a key access. I can go in the building. down the corridor to the front entrance of the unit. Now, I have no idea why access is not provided on that side door, but it makes a lot of sense. So, this, this video will conclude as soon as I reach the front door. You know, you have to imagine carrying something really heavy all this distance for the lack of exit entrance on that side door. I think it's an issue.